Hey guys, I want to talk to you. I'm leaving my uh, first night of my men's Bible study. Pretty awesome. We are uh, got about eight guys. They've matched us in age groups. And uh, a lot of talk about doubts, fears, insecurities, people who have dealt with depression, people who are trying to find their identity, people who are business owners, they're working all commission jobs in other industries. You know, it's cool. All men sharing the same fears, wondering, man, am I doing, are we raising these kids right? You know, is what we're doing, is that really what we should be doing? Man, is my phone going to ring tomorrow? You know, people get out into the real world and they have to provide for their family. And they got to start making money and start paying bills. And they think sometimes that they go to college, they get out, they get a, they get a job, they buy a house, they get married... And society has kind of done this not so good job of teaching us that life is a continuous thing. We continue to learn and grow. There is no finish line. Let me turn the light on here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. It's dark. So, as some encouragement, you know, before I left, I just told people, I said, hey, in regards to reprogramming your mind, which is what a lot of this was talking about, getting out of depression, fighting that, stop fellowshipping with the enemy, letting that negative just roll around and eat at you. Stop fellowshipping with the enemy. And how do you reprogram your mind? Faith, which is what you need to succeed in this business, faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. What do you listen to? Who do you listen to? What do you let in your life? What stimulus do you let in through your eyes and through your ears? You think this is bogus. Faith comes by hearing. So if you're not reading positive, uplifting, encouraging things, listening to them, they're not going to be there. You're not building your faith. You have to build your faith muscle. It is like building a bicep or a tricep. How do you do it? Resistance, consistency, increasing the workload, increasing the weight and the resistance, replenishing yourself with nutrients and hydration and sleep. That's just how you do faith, guys. Go out, book 15 appointments over two days, run them. You're gonna be tired. When you get to the house and you door knock for your appointment and they're not home, door knock them for three, four, or five minutes. Walk around back. Yell for them. Give them a call three, four times. Leave a sticky note. Follow up with them the next week. Door knock them. Earlier in the day this time. Later in the day this time. Pick one Saturday or Sunday out of the month. Go out and door knock all the leads you didn't get, re you didn't get results on. What are you talking about, Kyle? You go from talking about leaving your Bible study to talking about door knocking. I'm talking about faith. Faith comes by hearing. For you to have the faith to take that action, who are you listening to? What are you plugging into? Are you building yourself up? You remember when we were little? I remember when I was little, I had them little Lincoln logs. And you could build them, stack them, build them, build them, build them, higher and higher. And they were pretty stable. Are you building yourself up or are you tearing yourself down? Do you set up a couple dominoes, just knock them over? Can you set up a hundred of them before they get knocked over? Can you build something? Can you build yourself? Can you reprogram your mind? It's pretty awesome. This is our first study tonight and I'm super excited about it because we're working through a couple different books but there's a lot of discussion. And I get to learn, I get to hear from other people like me 
in my 10 year age frame, people with young children, some of them are in business, some of them are not, some of them are a little bit younger. It's awesome. We all share the same problems. Everybody's got doubts, fears, insecurities. You know why? Because we have the same enemy. Why is it that we all struggle with the same stuff? We got the same enemy. And there's a solution to the problem. And that's what I'm talking to you about. How do you build your faith? Faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? Positive, encouraging, the light. How do you get rid of darkness? Light. Can you take darkness out? Can you just go into a dark room and make the darkness go away? What do you do? You have to do, first of all, you have to do something. And what is it that you have to do? You gotta flip the light switch. You have to bring the light in. You have to bring it in. It doesn't show up until the morning. So you gotta bring the light. You have to do something to create things. To change outcomes, you have to do something. Guys, if you wanna talk more about this, I would love to. KyleStuter.com. I recruit and train life insurance agents across the country, and we focus in final expense.